We've learned how to combine strings inside a print statement using string addition with plus sign. So let's look at another way to do some formatting with print and we can combine using commas. So I'm going to just create a string variable here and enter the name Colette. I need to run that cell so that that variable name gets populated with a string and then I can go over here and this is the familiar print statement we used before. So we used a string and then we just add in a variable. That is a string and then we add another string. And I can run that cell. Now I got my hello Colette, but this printing with formatting, with commas. It's a different way to do this so that I can do is put a comma between the different strings. And so I'm done here. Hello to be Colette again, who is from our city. And I can run that string. And you can see here that concatenate, that concatenates all of the strings inside this print statement in between the commas. It just puts a, spare, a space between there and that's a de default behavior. So it says hello to, add in a space, Colette, add in a space who's from our city. So we can print format with commas and concatenate strings very quickly just by putting them next to each other, using the comma for different string variables or literal strings. Now here is a task for you. Print three strings on the same line using commas inside the print function. Now let's switch to printing numbers with strings using comma. Previously we ran into some type errors when we try to concatenate strings and numbers inside a print statement. And we are going to see how we can fix that using the comma format and it allows us to combine them easily. So this is the old way that we would try to combine these elements using the addition. And we know that we can't add the strings and the numbers together and so we get this type error and so the way that we can fix it is you could create a string out of the number or we could use a comma. So this is a great improvement is now. I'm allowed to legally combine a number and a string in the same print statement. So let's look below with a number variable. So I have num error equals zero and then I have this longish print statement separated with commas using the comma formatting and I have a string int equals and then I have a literal number and then I have a literal string and then I have this number here as well. That is the variable number error which could be zero and then followed with a string. So I can alternate strings and numbers or I can do variable numbers and hard-coded numbers and let's see how that runs. And so that works. My 14 shows up fine and my number of zero errors came up and indeed we got zero errors in that. So in this video we learned that we can combine numbers with strings using the comma print formatting and then that can really speed up our display of information. Now here are some tasks for you. In first task you have to use a print function with comma separation to combine two numbers and two strings. In the next task you have to print comma separated mixing of strings and variables. You have to display text describing an address made from strings and variables of different types. In the next task you have to print number strings variables from input and finally you have to create a program that prints out a reservation for a training class gather the name of the party the number